Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today we are going to present about Prime Minister's Department as our project. First of all, my name is Nur Shafika Binti Menzamain. My name is Farisha Binti Ahmad Rosni. My name is Ainur Dainsha Binti Muhammad Tamamai. My name is Nur Haida Binti Ahmad Najib. Okay, we are started our presentation with introduction. First, introduction. What is classification and filing system? Classification is the process of identifying or arranging records and archives in categories according to logically structured convention, method and procedure rule represented in classification scheme. Classification is important tool that uh, always be used in record management. Because it allows to determine uh, where uh, a record should be stored and to its users for retrieval the record. Okay, next is uh, filing system. Filing system is a process which involves classification, arrangement, storage, control, and indexing of files for the purpose of retrieving when it is needed. Filing system is the central record keeping. Uh, for an organization uh, because a filing system provides to organ organize the record uh, with systematic, effective and efficient. Okay, next is objective of filing system. First is to give the right file to the right person on the right time. It means that um, to give the potential user to retrieve the correct uh, we don't need a lot of time to search it. And the second one is to collect the records. Uh, collect, um, uh, collect all the file and records uh, from different sources and departments uh, to ease the retrieval of the records. Okay, next is importance of filing system. First uh, is proof. Uh, records can be approved uh, or any evidence in future if something happens such as a conflict and dispute. Uh, all of the records help to proving any misunderstanding that may be happen uh, relating to any matters. Okay, second is reference. Uh, records can be a reference uh, because the records they are preserved uh, can be used uh, for the future use. Okay, the third one is communication skills. Communication, con, communication tools. Uh, filing system provide information. So the records can that are preserved can be communication, communication tools to the shareholders, uh, customer, and also client. Okay. Uh, then uh, if decision, it uh, this is a uh, record uh, help to improve and increase the quality of the. Uh, decision making. It also can be as guidance in making uh, decision. The last one is memory. Uh, um, file system makes the record and the, the document permanent and it can be as a uh, continuing record in the system. Okay, next is the impact of improper classification and filing system to the organization. First is misfiling of it and loss of the record. Im improper classification and filing system will cause of um, misfile and loss of the uh, of the record. To avoid this, the organization need to ensure that the classification and filing system is simple to use and easy to retrieve. Second uh, is duplicate of data. Records may be um, stored in different files, so it can cause of uh, duplication of data. Um, also, duplication of data will cause of wasting of cost. The last one is lead to waste of time. This is because of um, the, the organization will take so much time uh, for searching the file and or record that they need. Okay, next 
is current issue in classification and filing system. First is arrange arrangement file not being organized. This is because of the way of the irresponsible staff um, that handle the record they retrieve. Uh, so then the organization must know the range of their record capacity in the organization because to avoid the the to avoid the duplication uh, the confusion in the organization okay the last one is the arrangement of the stuff in charts in proper use of filing system okay i will give to the next presenter Okay, next we are going to present about the history of Prime Minister's Department. The Prime Minister's Department was established in 1957 with three divisions, namely the Cabinet and Constitution Division, the Security and Research Division, and the Secretariat for Economic Advisors. Nowadays, PMD has 45 agencies or departments located under PMD administration. Next. Next is a vision of uh, PMD. It is to become a leading organization in human resource management, finance, development, accounting, and management service. Next, the mission of PMD is to provide efficient, effective, and quality service to PMD department or agency. Next, the mission of service of PMD is to provide efficient, fast, friendly, and responsive customer management service to customer requirement. And last but not least, the objective of PMD is to determine human resource management, finance, development, accounting, and management service performed in accordance with current policies, legislation, or regulation and guidelines. Next. This is the organizational charts of PMD. Next. The functions and role of PMD, first, it is to providing support service including administration, finance, human resource management, security, social and other service to staff of the Prime Minister's Department. And secondly, it is as a management of staff, quarters, office space and rest and recreational facilities to provide conducive and comfortable environment for the civil servants. And thirdly, it is as a management of all property owned by the federal government efficiently and effectively. Last but not least, it is as a providing efficient quality and effective service to the cabinet and the chief secretary who, who is who is also acting as secretary to the cabinet as well as tracking and monitoring of implementation of government decision. And next, this is the division available in the PMD. First of all, Innovation and Human Resource Division, Development Division, Management Service Division, Finance Division, Account Divisions, Internal Audit Division, Corporate Communication Units, Legal Advisor Office, Integrity Unit, Information Technology Divisions, Event Management Division, and lastly, Policy and Strategic Planning Division. Next. I will pass to the next presenter. Okay, this is an example of first for housekeeping file of PMD. Next. Uh, this is first for functional file for PMD. Next. Okay, I will be explaining about housekeeping files this description for 100. Next. Okay, for the function, it is pengurusan pentadbiran and, and it is divided to two activities which is perundangan and perhubungan awam. For perundangan, it is perkara berkaitan hikmat nasihat pandangan undang-undang kes mahkamah of PMD. And for the transaction, it is hikmat nasihat perkara berkaitan dengan hikmat nasihat dan rujukan dalam konteks undang-undang. Second, perhubungan awam. Publicity, protocol, promosi, pelanggan dan lain-lain. And for the transaction, publicity, promosi dan protocol. Perkara berkaitan publicity, promosi dan sidang akhbar melalui keratan akhbar, temubual dan wawancara, profil sesebuah agensi, kempen dan cenderamata. Next. 
housekeeping files description 200. Next. For the function tanah bangunan dan infrastruktur, that is divided to two activity which is perancangan, perolehan tanah atau bangunan dan perolehan pelepasan dan tukar guna tanah. For perancangan perolehan tanah atau bangunan is perkaitan perkara berkaitan dengan aktiviti merancang dan memperoleh suatu tanah dan bangunan. And for the transaction, jawatan kuasa perancangan perolehan tanah which is perkara berkaitan dengan jawatan kuasa yang dilantik untuk memantau aktiviti. Second, perolehan pelepasan dan tukar guna tanah iaitu perkara-perkara berkaitan dengan pengurusan dan permohonan tanah dan perolehan tanah. For the transaction is pengurusan dan permohonan tanah iaitu dokumen hak milik sebuah tetap sesebuah tanah. Next. Housekeeping files description 400. Next. For the function pengurusan kewangan that is divided to account and bank. For account, perkara-perkara berkaitan dengan acara perakaunan, account antara jabatan dan lain-lain. And for the transaction is Acara perakaunan which is pembukaan lejar baharu dan penutupan buku akaun pada awal bulan dan akhir bulan. Second, bank which is aktiviti dan transaksi yang melibatkan bank dan and for the transaction is account bank which is permohonan pembukaan account bank seperti surat menyurat mengenai urusan membuka akaun simpanan atau tetap. Next. For the functional files description which is 500, for the function is pengurusan sumber manusia and is divided to perjawatan dan perkhidmatan. For perjawatan, perkara-perkara berkaitan penstrukturan semula, waran perjawatan dan lain-lain. And for the transaction is penstrukturan semula. Penstrukturan semula seperti pemantapan sesebuah organisasi. And second, perkhidmatan iaitu perkara-perkara berkaitan dengan skim perkhidmatan atau skim saraan dan lain-lain and for the transaction is skim perkhidmatan atau skim persaraan iaitu urusan kajian semula skim perkhidmatan, penggeredan semula jawatan dan lain-lain. So I will be pass to next presenter. Okay next is the manual standard procedure classification and filing system developed by PMD. First is the purpose. Purpose manual of the Prime Minister Department File Classification Manual provide to assist guide the staff to the ministry in dealing with files that require process opening and closing files. Next is the scope. This manual is used uh, using classification file and general classification file functional issue covering all types of public records in the Prime Minister Department. Next is the reference. There are three types of reference in this PMD. First is the classification files. It is identify and collections of information with the logically, inter, logical internally uh, or to the group or almost the same everywhere a category or group of records are created by its own identity. Next is the public records. It is arranged personal affairs or by any public servant or public servant on the go official duty. And next is the general affair records. Records that to support the ministry machinery, it is to it is more to the matters such as administration, land, buildings, and infrastructure, uh, assets, financials, and human resource. Okay, this is the codes for general business files: one hundred for administration, two hundred for land, building, and infrastructure, uh, three hundred for asset, uh, four hundred for finance, five hundred for human resources. Next is the functional history classification files. Uh, first is functionality. It is refers to the primary uh, or specific responsibility that are implemented. Next is activities. Refers to the activities implement, implement to get or achieve the function. Next is the sub activities. It is refer to specific activities performed under the activity. Uh, next 
is a transaction files with a specific title under the sub activity and content document related to the title of the files. Okay, this is the adjustments of list marker used for the PMD. First is the colon. The, col the colon, it is, should be used to separate the ministry name and unit or section. And next is the dash. It should be used to separate function and activities. And last but not least, the oblique, oblique queue. It is, should be used to separate activities, sub-activities and transaction. Okay, for the conclusion, development and implementations of record classifications and filing system, it is one of the crucial in the terms of records. And next, the, the good record keeping will bring the benefits to the organization. For that, the choose to develop a record classification system must be handled and managed with the, pro with the proper to develop it. That's all from Prime Minister Department. Thank you. Thank you.